Moore on the phone with us. Uh, he listens to the show all the time. He's a comedian, very funny guy. Uh, his name is Matt Cassane, and he is uh, co-hosting Paging Dr. Love, The Search for Chicago's Funniest, funniest Healthcare Provider. It takes place this Tuesday night, May 20th, at the Laugh Factory. It benefits Special Projects Hugs, um, which uh, patients with support and connections to the surgical resources say that, 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 that they need. His website is mattcassane.com. We have a link on our Facebook page. And we wanted to just chat with Matt here really quickly about the event on Tuesday. Matt, how you doing, man? Great, Nick. Thank you so much for everything, man. I appreciate it. No, it's my pleasure. It's my pleasure. Uh, so uh, tell me a little bit about the event, Paging Dr. Love. Well, the HUGS organization uh, is uh, a group of uh, medical professionals that try to help people that can't afford major surgeries. Um, and there's so many people out there that can't. Um, I, you know, when I, when I got involved with this, um, it reminded me of a, a friend of mine. I know you're big in theater. I don't know if you remember a gentleman by the name of Tim Beamish who passed away yeah. about 2004. Yeah, I do, yeah. And uh, Tim was a good friend of mine, man. We did stand-up together uh, in the 90s, and he used to come on my cable access show. And, uh, and he's just a really sweet, lovable guy. And, um, you, know, he, you know, he had this serious abdominal problem um, around 2004. And he went into Cook County Hospital, and they released him because he didn't have any medical help or, you know, any, um, insurance. any, insur any insurance. Yeah, and so, like, uh, the poor guy passed away, you yeah. know. Oh, man. And uh, so, I mean, when they asked me to get involved, they jumped right in it. And, um, you know, I, I'm, you know, just, I, you know, whatever they needed, you know, so yeah. I'm not there to help them out. You know, sadly, that's, that's a pretty common thing in this country, Matt. And, um, uh, and it's great to have an organization like that that's going to help people. Uh, so tell me what the event's going to be. You're going to be at the Laugh Factory. Yeah, we're going to be at the Laugh Factory trying to uh, make people uh, from the um, health provider organizations. It could be any one. It doesn't have to be one specific one, like Advocate or something. It could be any of them. Uh, and we're trying to get them up there, and they're going to give it a shot. They're going to give stand up a shot, and uh, I'm going to be one of the judges and one of the co-hosts, and I'm going to do a little stand up myself, and we're going to see who you know who wins just for fun, and uh, try to raise some money at the same time. Now, how can people get involved, and how can people come to see it? You got a website and all that stuff? Yeah, just go to Laugh Factory's website, uh, laughfactory.com/chicago, because there's several Laugh Factories around the country. So there's the one in Chicago, obviously. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, just you know, it's, I think it's 25 bucks, and, uh, and there's also a, a, a 40 dollar ticket if you want to be part of the, the VIP reception, which starts at 6:45. The actual show starts at 8 p.m. and it's going to be me, Jeff Conway from 24/7 uh, on NBC. It's on like late Saturday, like after SNL. Yep. On the, and then uh, we're going to have a few other comics that uh, just kind of jumped on board. One of my, my buddy Dan Brennan's going to be uh, doing uh, one of the stand-up gigs. He's a regular comic. He just opened for Jim Brewer, so he's a real funny guy, too. Oh, that's great, man. Okay, you, so it's a $25 ticket, or you can get a $40 ticket, VIP, and it's at laughfactory.com slash Chicago on Tuesday, May 20th, showtime at 8 o'clock. Great comedians and a great cause, paging Dr. Yeah. Love. That's great, man. Uh, so what else have you been doing? Have you been keeping busy? And I will sing Dr. Love by Kiss when oh. they show up. <laughs> There's a promise for you right there. If you want to hear Dr. Love by Kiss, you got to show up. So what else you been doing, Matt? All kinds of crazy stuff. You know, I have uh, I've, I've got the, the wackiest showbiz, uh, one of the wackiest showbiz careers of all time. Uh, you know, I started out in college. Just I, I was in our, what they call RTV ethnic. I don't even know if they have it anymore. Radio, TV, film. Yeah, I don't know if that exists either. I, <laughs> I went to um, a small junior college in northern New Jersey, which, by the way, ten years after I went there, Chelsea Handler went there. Oh no! Kidding. Yes, that's their claim to fame. Chelsea Handler went there, and uh, as as a kid, as a student, as a 19-year-old kid, now I'm from Chicago, I grew up in the western suburbs, out in Lombard and stuff, but we, we moved out to Jersey for a little while. As a kid, as a 19-year-old kid at Morris College in New Jersey, Nick, I got to intern for Tom Brokaw. Now, how does that happen? I don't know. My grade point average in high school was 1.9. <laughs> and there were probably kids from Harvard trying to get this internship. Yeah. I was trying to get in. This is 1985. I was trying to get into Late Night with David Letterman, my, my all-time late night talk show sure, hero. Besides beside you, <laughs> yeah. And uh, and I, I, they did, that was filled to like you know 2017. They had no, they had none left. And so uh, what I did was uh, they offered me the Brokaw thing. It was three days a week, so I took it. And I'd like to do my Tom Brokaw impersonation right now for you. Oh, good. Okay. Matt, could you please come into my office for a, for a few minutes? 
Here's a few dollars. Go down to the commissary and pick me up a brand muffin. <laughs> that's good, man. Thank you very much. Well, how long did you, you? How long did you? That's a great impression. How long did you intern for him? I was there for an entire semester, and uh, it was there. You know, the fun the fun part about it was I used to sneak around NBC. I was supposed to be on my lunch break. I used to sneak around NBC, so I would go sneak into like. Saturday Night Live studio. I snuck into Letterman's studio one time and sat at his desk. I did nice. things that were probably totally illegal, but I got away with it. That's great, man. That sounds like a cool yeah. experience. Well, so after you interned for uh, Tom, Brokaw obviously did not stay at NBC. Uh, uh, no, you know, actually, I, I did. Six years later, I was a tour guide at the NBC Tower right here in beautiful Chicago. Wow. Yeah, so I made a little comeback there. Lasted about a year, but uh, yeah, that was that was my extent with NBC. Wow. Now I I know that you actually uh, you do gigs as Matt Foley, uh, <laughs> the the motivational speaker Matt Foley, uh, but yeah. you, you actually did uh, drink. You did actually drink with Chris Farley in real life. I did at the Old Town Ale House, which I know you've been to. Yeah, and I've I've actually been there while he was there as well. So. Yes, and, and Chris came in. This is before SNL, mm -hmm. uh, about a year before SNL. And he came in. We uh, we 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 saw him after his show. We went and saw him in Second City. We're like Chris, come over and drink with us. So of course he came over and drank with us. And uh, he had a, he sat down, had a few beers, and then some hot girl came in. I don't know who it was, but she knew him. He knew her. He gets up, starts running around the bar, humana, humana, just chasing her around the bar, just like Farley, just like you would expect Farley to do. Right. That's great, man. But uh, I love doing Farley. But you know, the thing about it is, people don't don't realize this when you know they hire me to come out and do like an hour of Farley. The skit was only like three and a half minutes long. Yeah. So I got to come up with other stuff. Well, what, so what I did was, I don't know if you remember Bennett Brower. Yeah. It was it was sort of Matt Foley esque. So what I've done is I've incorporated I, I've incorporated Matt, uh, uh, you know, uh, Chris Farley doing Bennett Brower. So you know, would you like to hear a little bit of that? Sure, go ahead, man. Well, Nick, you know, I really am not the norm. I'm not camera friendly. I can't reach all my body parts. I eat my own dandruff. I don't let my scabs heal. I don't own a toothbrush. I've <laughs> never had sex with a lady. I'm not sure how that works. <laughs> <laughs> That's good, man. That's good. Thank you. That's very, very good. Uh, so, so you combine those two, and that, so you, you, do you do a lot of gigs impersonating Farley? Yeah, I, I've been so fortunate, man. They've flown me all over the country. A couple of years ago, I'm not making this up, I flew down to Houston, Texas to perform at a bar mitzvah, and I, and I get to... <laughs> I get down there, and the kids are just, like, insane. They love Farley. They're only 12 years old. Oh. I don't know how they even know who Farley is. Yeah. But they're jumping on my back. They're like, Farley, give us a ride. I'm, you know, running around the place with little 12-year-old little kids on my back. That's it was great. great. You know, that's encouraging, man. If parents are showing their kids Chris Farley, I, 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 I feel good about America. I do, too. It's yeah. a wonderful thing. Yeah, it is. Now, I, I'm also looking here. Uh, by the way, you can, check, you can see uh, Matt uh, performing at Paging Dr. Love. That's the important thing. And uh, it is a benefit that takes place Tuesday, May 20th at the Laugh Factory, and it benefits yeah. Hugs. Uh, and it's $25 to get in. If you want a VIP ticket, that's $40, and it, it's all for a great cause. And it starts at two. Uh, it starts at 8 o'clock on Tuesday, May 20th at the Laugh Factory. Check out laughfactory.com slash Chicago. We have a link on our Facebook page at facebook.com slash Nick D Show. Uh, it, okay, so... You, I, you, your career is all over the place, uh, you know. Um, and one of my favorite local bands that I used to see at the Thirsty Whale on a regular basis <laughs> was Enough's Enough. And I, I'm looking here that you directed music videos for Enough's Enough. I did four horrible, well, actually three horrible videos uh -huh. for Enough's Enough. I'm talking Ed Wood horrible. <laughs> and then the last one we did was actually pretty good. We got to shoot it in, a, in an actual television studio in Palatine, and we had. My buddy Bob Gassel, who's the head editor for Jerry Springer, uh, he did the editing for it. So it actually wound up airing on, on VH1 for like two years on, on, a, on a show called Where Are They Now? The, the Hair Bands episode. <laughs> but uh, I would like to do right now for you, Nick, yeah. Chicago, WGN, I would like to do my world-famous Chip Zinuff impersonation. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I am. Good to hear you, buddy. How are you? <laughs> I'm good, Chip. Good, man. I, you know, I totally hail WGN and Nick DiGiulio. And uh, don't forget, man, it doesn't matter who who drives the bus as long as you get to the picnic. You know what I'm talking about, bro? 
having, having partied with Chips enough, Matt, that's a very, very good impression, man. Well, I'm a little bit nervous right now. I'm not going to lie to 